Hey guys, Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here. Welcome back to the 2019 edition of Windows XP on the Dell Dimension 4600. Yeah, Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition. This is part 7. And, um, yeah, the last part we did the first Microsoft Money 2004 tutorial on manager taxes. And this time I'm going to be doing, like, for this part we're going to be doing to the next tutorial, which is on entering ch checks and deposits. Let's log into the computer and, and try to get ready. So, let's log in. Yeah, I've I've done something on here before today, and um, it was a cassette recording. I had to upload to my, you know, my archive account. I was busy with that, but now that I'm done with that, I'm finally ready to do something here. Um. About this, um, a YouTuber requested me to react to more Sonic X. So yeah, I accepted that, and I told them that I will react to episode three of this series. The episode's called Missile Wrist Rampage. Yeah, Sarah the Hedgehog requested me to do it. So yeah, Sarah the Hedgehog, if you're watching this, I will react to that. To, to the third episode of Sonic X right after I'm done doing this video. So, yeah. Anyway, um, we're going to wait for this computer to log me in. So, yeah, I had to turn on the computer before the video started recording. So, yeah. <laughs> Pretty impressive, huh? Anyway, um, I'm just not sure that every time I, like, try to turn on this computer, I just keep, well... I don't know. Does the computer get faster every time I keep turning it on? Like, at a little faster pace? I don't know. I don't really think it does, but I think it's a good guess for me. At least we got this desktop background in shape. So, yeah. Anyway, um, the cassette recording I did was on Daniel Ash, and it was a cassette single. And it was on, it was called This Love. I've played it on my art and sound record player, you know, I put it on the tape part, you know, you know, on the right side of it, where I played my 25 Silly Songs tape on that one video I recorded. So, yeah, this computer's logging me in, but I don't want to wait this long because I've got something to do here. Okay, I don't want to keep waiting this long, you know, someday I might also have to get back to reacting to NQRS 200's Microsoft Sammy's Funny Windows Errors videos. I've got to do that someday. Besides, I have like, lots of stuff to do and all that, because I'm a busy guy. But we're going to have to pause this recording, because it's going to take a little bit of time for me to be logged in, so. We will be right back. Alright, we're back now. The computer had to log me in. So, yeah. Interesting, huh? I also had to get my phone. I had to bring it downstairs or something. Because I was busy. So, yeah. Still waiting for this computer to log me in because I've got to go into the Microsoft Money 2004 tutorial about entering checks and deposits. So, I believe I remember that I've been, like, playing some tutorial audio on Windows Movie Maker. But, uh, what? Give me a minute, viewers. Alright, viewers, I'm back now. Had to wait minutes for this computer to be doing the fast stuff. So, yeah. I also had to do my Odyssey World while I had to wait. So, anyway, let's go find the My Computer thing. There's a flashlight. Now let's go to local disk C drive. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go to program files. Then we'll go to Microsoft Money, Media, AV Help. And then we will go to 04EC. Enter checks and deposits. Here we go. Let's watch it.
Say, this kind of looks like a checkbook. Here's a register up here. That's the idea. And down here are the forms for withdrawals, deposits, and transfers. So I fill them out like a check or deposit slip. Exactly. There's a tab for each kind of transaction. Let's enter those checks from our shopping trip today, and you'll see how it works. I assume I start by clicking the tab for the kind of transaction I'm entering? Right. We're entering this first check for our new easy chair, so that's a withdrawal. Click New to activate the form. First, you type the check number. Okay. I see that money puts in today's date. Now pay to Tasmanian Traders. We got a good deal on this purchase. 153.67. Done. Should I enter anything in this category box? You don't have to. But if we categorize our expenses and income, we'll be able to track where our money goes. I get it. Money summarizes our expenses using these categories. This should give us a better picture of our finances. It should, especially with the reports we can create. This also helps if we do a budget, lifetime plan, or if we need an expense summary for taxes. So I click the arrow, scroll through the list, and click the category I want. This would be household furnishings. As soon as you click enter, you're done, and it's in the register. Money does the subtraction for me. We don't have to worry about math mistakes anymore. Now we're ready for the next one, that bill to the telephone company. Money has a real shortcut here. What's that? See this common withdrawals button? Yeah. Click it, and then point to upcoming bills. When we first set up money, we specified our regular bills. Those now appear in this list. Click the phone company on the list. Look, money fills in most of the check information for me. I just have to put in the exact amount. Again, we click enter, and it shows up in the register. So, once we start using money checks, we can just type in our regular payments like this, and then print the checks. What about deposits? We put in that tax refund check yesterday. Click the deposit tab. In the from field, say where the check came from, that is, the county. Hey, 25 bucks for us. Hmm. How do we categorize this? Oh, other income, state and local tax refund. You need to change the date because you made the deposit yesterday. Here's a neat trick. Click this little arrow and then click the date. Cool. I'll say what it was for. Every little bit helps. We have one more check to enter. Yes, my new skis. You know, you can type directly into the check register if you want. How's that? Well, up here, you turn off the checkbook form. Now you can click New or just click in the blank line. Okay, it looks like money fills in the check number and date automatically. So I just type Alpine Ski Center right in here. Hey, look at this. Money made a good guess for the category. Now type the check amount and you're done. So with money, we can keep accurate records of our checking account. And our other accounts, too. We can use this same process to show account activity in our savings, brokerage, and even our credit card accounts. Then money can summarize this information to help us track our expenses, organize our taxes, and plan our finances. That will be it for the enter checks and deposits part. The next tutorial will be on Lifetime Planner. And like I said, this will be on the next part. So yeah, like I said, next part, Lifetime Planner. Use the Lifetime, uh, lifetime Planner. Okay. I don't want to make this video short, but I do have to, although I've got one more thing up my sleeve, and that is on, of course, playing hearts. So, my name is Colton, so let's play it. I'm going to pick the queen at jack and eight. Alright, there we go. All right, got this in here. This is a fun card game. It looks like I'm winning. This looks great. Let's play one more. Let's play another game. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait, no, 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 oh my, really? Uh, 
Excuse me. Okay. Now let's just do one more. Let's do one more round. No wonder we. No wonder why these games are like pretty freaking fast. I mean, why are these pretty fast? You may ask. Well, it's because that's that's the way I roll. Let's just. We'll end this when we get to a hundred. Let's do that. What the heck? Did I get the wrong one or something? Oh, it was on the very left. I forgot. I can't hold the camera right because it's just pretty. Like it might when I hold it with only one hand, it kind of hurts to do that. Seriously. Okay. But now let's do one more round. Come on. I need to pick the cards. There we go. Alright. Now let's see. Okay. Ace. Four. Oh, oh, it's a diamond one. And there we go. Game's over now. So now we, we've got to end this video. i got to make this video short. So yeah, that's about it for part 7 of the Dell Dimension 4600 running Windows XP Home Edition walkthrough. Yeah, 2019 edition of it. And yeah, the next video I'll be working on, of course, it's my reaction to Sonic X Episode 3, so stay tuned. And yeah, stay tuned also for part 8 of this walkthrough, of course. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Thank you viewers for watching and have a great time. Peace out, toodles.